welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that many developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how can I use the Optimus Headless Browser NuGet package with C Sharp to get responses from a URL while ensuring that JavaScript on the page executes automatically, similar to PhantomJS? Let's break down the question. The viewer is looking for guidance on utilizing the Optimus Headless Browser, a powerful tool for web scraping and automation. They want to know how to retrieve data from a specific URL and ensure that any JavaScript on that page runs seamlessly, just like it would in a traditional browser environment. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To get started with the Optimus Headless Browser in C Sharp, first we need to install the Optimus NuGet package. Open your project in Visual Studio. Once the package is installed, we can create a new instance of the Optimus browser. This will allow us to navigate to a URL and retrieve the response. Next, we will navigate to the desired URL. The Optimus browser will automatically execute any JavaScript on the page, similar to PhantomJS. After navigating, we can retrieve the page content. This is done using the getContentAsync method, which will give us the HTML response. Finally, don't forget to dispose of the browser instance to free up resources. This is a good practice when working with headless browsers. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use the Optimus Headless Browser with C Sharp, start by creating an engine component. Then, open the URL of the HTML document you want to retrieve. You can choose to wait for JavaScript elements to load or not. If you want to wait for JavaScript elements, you can use methods like WaitID, WaitDocumentLoad, or WaitSelector. This allows you to ensure the content is fully loaded before proceeding. For dynamic loading, you can retrieve specific elements after the page loads. For static loading, you can access the document structure directly. Here are examples for both methods. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.